It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just pull me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me 
in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Collision. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. I could patch these shoes. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city.
Ranger, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, mate. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. Away. Gotta shut this down before someone gets hurt. Ah! Yeah. Sorry about that. What's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city, and I want it to be better. What you hear in my voice? Nothing but love. Bozo's blocking sidewalks. Yes, Can I get an autograph? Huh. I thought you'd be taller. All units advised, we have an assault reported in progress. Fight, Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. I can't let him hurt that victim anymore. 
Try hitting me. Spoiler, I hit back. <laughs> I realize the irony in me saying this. But I hope you've learned not to hit people. left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! Getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. Toxins coming from two types of cars. And a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Perfect. Light on that one. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day.
Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. I'm not gonna go out like that! Look at it this way. If I'd actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb it? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid. You, just stupid. You, not so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's also subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. It's like about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Shut up! This one's gonna hurt. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! You come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Not gonna happen! No! People don't use 
the banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! Gotcha! Okay, catch this one with your face! You're freaking me out, Herman! It's not like you to be afraid of people! Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything else masks! Wait, did you say masks? yourself literally Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon? Uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Officers needed in the garment district. Wouldn't be New York without a seedy drug deal. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of Big Pharma. Especially back alley Big Pharma. Drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top five. Or bottom five, however that works. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Hey, 
so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk property. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me... Send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. <laughs> Gearing up for something big. If you told 12-year-old me one day dudes in masks would try to... Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. 
Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup, but that don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check, Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in, eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demon's hands. Snipers everywhere. I need to deal with them first. Junk scattered around here. A well placed web shot could make a great distraction. Sniper has a guard watching him. They need to divide and conquer. Might be not. Literally didn't see that coming. Check Alpha 12. Someone check on Alpha 12. Might have a busted radio. Copy. Heading over there.
anyone? Ready night. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. That's <laughs> Spider Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. I've been working on electric webbing. This is the perfect field test. Sit tight. Electric web for the win. A gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. He started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Uh. Must not be the right box. Keep looking.
way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Now that I know I'm after scrapes, I should take another look around. Found a scrape. Oh. I guess normal doors don't count, huh? Good guess. Where else could there be scrapes? Pay dirt! Scrape, no door. None I can see, anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Second floor. Rusted machine parts. Big honking rats. <laughs> Careful. The bridge is out. I got this one. Nice! Stuck the landing and everything! We're not all donut eaters! <laughs> Fair enough! Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it! Did it open? No. This door must be hooked to another box. You were after Fisk for a long time, huh? He's my great white whale. Ha-ha! <laughs> Found one! Nailed it! Hell yeah, you did. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, 
two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. Sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. There, they blew the locks to get in. Shh, demons. Stay here. Hell no, it'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving, let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! I'm to do my part. Look out! Firing! Stay clear! Now you're just showing off! There's a guy dodging bullets. Gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. Safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Long time no see. Here's your stuff. No. 
now the three decides to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 